Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Hopefully everybody's staying safe and healthy. So in today's video, I'm actually gonna try to make bacon from scratch. So I'm not just going to make a recipe on my own. I'm actually going to try to recreate a recipe from another YouTuber, Gaz Oakley from Avante Guard. Um, he has seemingly perfected this recipe, so I'm gonna try to make it myself and see if it's really all it's cut up to be. So the main component of this bacon is vital wheat gluten. Now I've only worked with vital wheat gluten probably one or two other times before. If you've never worked with it, it's essentially the stripped protein of wheat. So if that's completely wrong, I will pause and put in the actual description of it right now, but it tends to be a very stretchy item once it's mixed with water. So you'll see as we go on, but that's gonna be the main component. And then obviously there's a ton of other spices and everything that goes into it. This recipe has so many ingredients. Let me show you. Check this out. I can barely fit it all into one screen, but there is a fatty streak in the middle of the bacon. So there are some different components that will be used for that. Um, but overall, there's a ton of different things in here. It's gonna be quite the feat. It's probably gonna take me just about all day to get this done, but I'm, I'm excited to try something new, use up some stuff that's in my pantry and see how this really goes. So now I'm just gonna start putting everything together. So I have the video playing here, and then I also have the full rundown of instructions and ingredients. So I got all the tools that I need to get this going good. quick break I got the red part done or I guess the meat part done and now for the, like the wet side of things until it's mixed into the dry part now he conveniently has two blenders I'm going to clean my one blender out and then do the streak part that it's wet and then mix it all together so this is gonna be a super long process and I've already knew that that was the case but um, this first part took me probably about a half an hour and now I'm going to work on the second quarter of it all. I don't know, we'll see. something we can actually form to make it look like bacon. So I have the meat part of it right here. So um, you can use a, an electric mixer like I did. Otherwise you can always knead by hand. This is probably gonna take you a little bit longer. Um, so I'm just gonna, my electric mixer is not the greatest. So I am just gonna make sure that this is all mixed through. Did have like a little part that was still a little floury. So I'm gonna mix this through and then he said to put it in a rectangle. So I'm gonna do that afterwards and then I'm gonna work with the fast streak and do the same with that. 
One thing I will mention is that when I did, um, I thought I had all the right ingredients, but turns out I didn't. So I did have to um, substitute one or two things. There was um, dried sage that I didn't have in my cupboard. I researched what was the closest spice to dried sage and they said to use either poultry seasoning, rosemary, or thyme. So I just used a little bit of all three and hoped that it would turn out just about the same. I think that was the only substitute. So I didn't do too bad. As you can see, this is pretty spongy right now, but then um, a little bit later on, we're going to boil it. So then it will firm up a little bit. This is what he did in the video. I'm not sure if it actually does anything, but here we go. more firm this is a little bit airier so uh, I hope that that will kind of work itself out through the next process here but we'll see or he put smoked salt on it. So I actually have this chipotle seasoning. What's in it is just sea salt, dehydrated vegetables, garlic, onion, red bell pepper, and a smoke flavor. So I figured that would go good with it. So I'm gonna put that down. to roll up the bacon, making it as tight as possible so that when it cooks, it still stays in this um, form or this shape. And then wrapped it with plastic wrap a few times. Now it has to simmer for two hours. Then after two hours, it should be done. And then we can cut it up and see how it turns out. Next morning, um, he said to make sure that the bacon cools completely before you cut into it and try to fry it up or what have you. So last night, this got done boiling around eight o'clock. So I put it in the fridge right afterwards and by the time I went to bed at 11, it was still pretty warm. So I decided to just wait. I was gonna eat it for breakfast this morning anyways, so we'll crack it open now. One thing I will say is that it does smell pretty good. There's definitely like a smoky smell to it. So that's promising. Bacon, like, 
lengthwise, um, but I think I'm gonna try to cut it the shorter way because it'll be better for sandwiches and everything. Um, so let's cut into it and see what it does. actually but he also said that if you pan fry it then it gets a little bit of crispiness to it and everything so I'm gonna try to cut a thinner a couple thinner slices too and then put it with the rest of our breakfast and we'll come back and let you know how it tastes Review about the maple. The texture is really good. I like the texture, but it wasn't that flavorful to be frank. But with the maple, it tastes like ma maple bacon. Like I like the flavor. Which is interesting because there's so many spices and everything in this. So I'm wondering if maybe when you saute it up and you put like more seasonings of whatever you want, like some smoked paprika or something on top, then maybe it would bring out the flavors a little bit more but overall not bad it did take quite a while to do um, so just want to decide if it's worth it for you um, this big slab we decided we're probably gonna cut it in half and use part of it for this week and put the rest in the freezer and use it for a different time so I'd be curious to put that on the scale and see how many pounds it actually made because this yeah. thing is an actual brick yeah it's Okay, so I just wanted to pop in here really quick after things have had a little bit of time to marinate. Um, so I did think that the bacon was a really good texture. I really like that part of everything. Um, I tried to temper my expectations, but it was relatively bland, like Chess said. So just thoughts for what I would do next time is when I'm frying it up in the pan, I'm probably gonna add a little bit of liquid smoke to it. The last time that I fried it up in the pan, I actually put a little bit of soy sauce on it and the salt, definitely helped to bring out the flavor a little bit more. So I think with a little bit of tweaking, it's a really great foundation. So in the future, I think I will definitely remake this. It did take in total probably close to like an hour and a half or so to make everything and then a couple hours for it to simmer and boil. And then obviously the cooling period and everything too. So it is a long process. It's a super complex recipe and I will take some of the blame because I didn't have all the ingredients. Um, and it was my first time making it, so I'm sure his was a little bit better than mine, but I just wanted to pop in and say that because I didn't feel like the full thought got through there. Anyways, um, so that's it. That's all I have for you. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any other types of bacon and what your favorite brand was. Um, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Classy, <laughs> you know.